Welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh, the cooking cop. And my name is Babe, and I cook for the cop. If you saw our last video, you saw that we are the proud new owners of the Pit Boss Five Burner Griddle. In today's video, we're gonna show you how to season that flat top griddle so that your cooking surface is awesome. It's bitchin', yeah, babe, yeah. Yeah. So the Pit Boss Five Burner Griddle Five burner griddle. Yeah, remember we had such a problem saying yeah. that last time. The Pit Boss five burner griddle comes pre-seasoned. You could just turn it on and ready to go. That's not the way that you do it though. <laughs> not the way. And you're really kind of supposed to use flaxseed oil to oil it and do that. Flaxseed oil does make a nice coating and stuff like that. However, a couple different schools of thought to it. We're gonna be using canola oil. Okay. So we're gonna go outside. We're gonna season up our griddle. And then we're looking forward to doing a lot of cooks on it. Yeah. Yeah, babe. Yeah. I'm excited. Yeah. Okay. Get back out there. It's still cold out. It's cold for cold. California standards. Very cold. Very cold. You're All right. <laughs> Let's go outside and talk about seasoning up this griddle. Okay, so the general idea is this. Brand new cooking service. We're going to oil it up with canola oil. We're going to turn all five burners onto high. About 15, 20 minutes, that oil is going to burn off. You could turn it off. You could re-oil it. Uh, we'll probably just turn it down to low, re-oil it. That process is gonna take place four or five times until you have a nice coating on it. This grill top surface is gonna change color as you'll see throughout the video. We'll speed it up. And yeah, and then you'll be ready to roll. There is also a school of thought that people talk about that you wash it with soap and water. You would think this is cold or old steel. Why would you put soap and water? It's gonna make it rust. But there is a school of thought that talks about doing that. We are gonna choose not to do that. But, right babe? Right. We're just gonna oil, heat, oil, heat, oil, heat, oil, heat. No soap and water today. Got it. You love griddle cooking. I love it. Love it. <laughs> I love it. Okay, it's time to lube up your griddle. <laughs> I'm excited, <laughs> I love lube. What? Okay babe, get to lubing. Here we go. <laughs> All right, how much would you say I put on? Uh, a couple tablespoons because you're just doing thin coats. And then we're gonna burn it off. Okay. That's good. But we gotta remember, look at my little hand. Look at my big hand. We're gonna get all sides of the metal okay. in the wall here on the outside of this wall. You just wanted to give a thin coat. All in the corners and the crevices. Mm -hmm. All right, let's turn all of the five burners on high. One. Two. Three. Oh, doggy. Here we are. They're all on high. Now we let it sit for a few or what? Yep, it's gonna get piping hot. Okay. We gotta move that canola oil off the little shelf there because it's about to get hot and spicy. spicy. So you can see the smoking right there. So this is now the second coat of oil. Whoa, babe, whoa. Okay. Babe's getting a little intense with the oil. You have to tell him you have to use tongs. Explain why. <laughs> Some people are confused and they wouldn't know that it's too hot to put the paper towel down <laughs> and touch it by themselves. That's why you're using tongs. So you have to use a tongs. Preferably a metal one, not a plastic one. <laughs> Correct. And you're getting all the side walls and everything. Mm -hmm. So now we'll let that burn off. Okay. And then maybe next time we'll turn the burners off and then let it cool for a little bit and then re-oil it. I don't know. We're just playing with it. So 
we're getting there. This is our third coat now. Third coat. Which I think probably three or four coats is good. You can see one side is obviously the really hot side. Yeah. The right side of this griddle is definitely hotter, I think. Mm -hmm. I'm looking I I'm looking very much forward to our first cook on it. Which we're gonna film after this. And that is going to be our dinner tonight, which is going to be beef chow mein. <laughs> with special babe magic sauce, which is actually the most incredible thing ever. Yeah, so if you're watching this video, I'll put a link up above to babe's mega chow mein, which is so, so good. It's yummy. How many times have we made that chow mein now? Like 20? A lot, yeah. <laughs> because it's so good. All right, you guys. So that's the end of the video. You saw how you season your griddle. We're ready to cook on it. We're super pumped up. Our top tier channel members, we gotta put their names scrolling across the screen. Without you guys, we couldn't do it. We appreciate you so, so much. Right, babe? Right. That's right. Thank you so much for watching. We hope this was an informative and helpful video. And we look forward to all of our cooks on the Blackstone. It's what? I mean, oh, sorry. <laughs> You're gonna have to beep, beep that, that word. Beep that word. We look forward to all of our cooks on the Pit Boss five, five Burner Griddle. Yeah. All right. See you guys on the next video.